Hi, uh, today I'll be talking about Jones Road products, which is a line of uh, makeup and skincare that uh, was founded two years ago by the uh, famous uh, makeup artist, Bobby Brown. And it's my feeling that this line of products is especially well suited to mature women and to people who either have sensitive skin or who are looking for cleaner beauty products. And so I'll be discussing the products from that point of view. I've tried all the products in this line uh, and at least some of the shades, so I will be discussing my own experiences with the products as well as the ingredients list and what I've read about other people's experiences with them. Uh, I really like this, this line in general. I'm actually a big fan of it, but I do think that there are some products that may be more appropriate for some people than others, so I'll be discussing uh, whether or not uh, these might be good products for you in particular uh, in this video. Now first, just a little bit of information about my channel. I'm 58 years old and I have very sensitive skin. I've never had any kind of cosmetic work done like surgery or things injected into my face and I don't intend to ever do that. In addition, I have such sensitive skin that I have never uh, been able to use products like retinol or anything that's very harsh on my skin. And so I have put uh, quite a bit of effort, though, over the past couple of years into finding appropriate skincare products as well as appropriate makeup products that work well with my skin and that can help me to look a little bit younger. I also prefer a more natural makeup look, so uh, I am looking for products that help me to achieve a look as if I'm not wearing any makeup or as if I just rolled out of bed and put on a little bit of eyeshadow or a little bit of lipstick rather than being totally made up. And so that's one of the reasons that I really like this Jones Road line because it does help to give me this look in a minimal amount of time. I also shoot my videos in all natural light with light coming from uh, several different directions in the room and with a good 4K camera so that hopefully you can get a sense of what the colors of the makeup products are like and therefore decide whether or not they're going to be appropriate for you. Let me first give a little bit of background on the Jones Road Company and on its founder, Bobby Brown. So Bobby Brown was a makeup artist who started working back in the 1980s. And around 1990 or so, she decided that she was going to work with a makeup formulator to try to create some lipsticks that were the color of lips. So at the time, people were wearing much brighter colors. And so uh, she introduced this line of, of lipsticks and it became very popular, very fast. And then a few years after that, she ended up selling her company to the Estee Lauder Corporation and signing a 25-year non-compete uh, contract with them. And she worked for Estee Lauder for more than 20 years. She also became quite well known. She wrote several books that did really well in the marketplace and, and had the philosophy of really makeup not being designed to make you look different than yourself, but to just make you look like a prettier and healthier uh, version of yourself. So she wrote a lot to teenagers about this topic. She talked a lot about how when she was young that her her parents had offered her to get a nose job, as was the case with many of uh, her Jewish friends, and that she declined to get that. Uh, and uh, then eventually, uh, as the years went on, uh, eventually the Estee Lauder company changed management and she became less happy with her job. And eventually in 2016, she left the company and became a health coach and ran a hotel with her husband and did a master class on beauty. And eventually she decided that she was going to start uh, working with some formulators just to see if she could create some cleaner makeup products that would work well for her as she became older. And some of these products apparently became so successful uh, with her and with her friends that she decided that she was going to start this company, Jones Road. That was started at the end of 2020. And uh, so far, it's be been very popular. Uh, they sold at Credo for a year, and now they are just selling uh, out of their own website, and they have a couple of stores. Uh, one of the stores is in New Jersey, and they're going to be opening a store in Greenwich Village soon. 
So as in the past, Bobby Brown is still uh, promoting the idea of looking like a prettier and healthier and happier version of yourself rather than trying to look like someone else. So she says that she has never had any plastic surgery or or injections uh, done in her own face. Last year for April Fool's Day, she uh, did a video where she said that people had asked her and asked her to learn how to contour their nose and that she didn't want to do it and that finally she was going to do it. And then she said, now April Fool's, you know that I will never show you how to contour your nose because you don't need to contour your nose and just put something on your face uh, to make yourself look uh, more fun and uh, be prettier. And I think that's what the whole point of this line is, is that uh, the idea is that makeup should be fun, it should be easy, you might be just putting it on in the car, uh, and it shouldn't be making you look any different, but just a little bit healthier and a little bit happier. And I think that the pro that's one of the really good things about this product line, is that all of the products are very easy to put on, they're very easy going. About six months ago, uh, the the Jones Road Company started a Facebook group for uh, people that were their best customers. So I joined that group right away. And uh, it, as it turns out, most of the members of the group are uh, who have purchased a lot from the company tend to be women who are in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, or in some cases older, and that uh, usually don't wear a lot of other makeup, but that are just having a really fun time with this and that are really supportive of one another. So I think that's really terrific, and I think it's a really positive uh, place for people to be, to be supporting one another, and to fe be feeling like they can actually look good as they get older without resorting to uh, drastic measures. Now, in terms of the formulas for the products, uh, Bobby Brown's founded this company with the idea that she was going to try to create products that were as high performance as traditional makeup products, but that were going to ha also uh, have a much cleaner ingredient list. And I think for the most part, she's really succeeded at that. Uh, especially three years ago when she was first working on this company, uh, most of the products that were on the market that uh, subscribed to clean standards, they tended to uh, not perform very well and uh, that they tended to be kind of annoying to use. I think that there's been a real revolution over the past two years uh, where there's been a lot of new products that have been under, that have entered the market that have uh, really been performing terrific. So I think that this is a, a really positive step forward. In terms of her creating the products, she did it uh, based on uh, the Credo no-no list. So Credo has a list of a bunch of different ingredients that they don't allow in any products that are in their stores. So she brought those to the makeup formulators that she knew and said, what can we do that, that doesn't include these products? Uh, one thing about uh, making makeup products, and especially ones that have a lot of oils in them, is that uh, if you don't put any preservatives in them, or if you don't put uh, certain kinds of preservatives in them, then they tend to go bad pretty easily. They either go rancid or they can get uh, microbial uh, contamination. And that is, I would imagine that especially if you're starting a new makeup company with your own money, and as far as I know, she hasn't gotten any substantial amount of outside investment. She and her husband are really running this company themselves. You really don't want to be having products spoil on you, nor do you want to be uh, risking your reputation by people uh, having complaining about the product spoiling. So there are some companies uh, that sell, for instance, at Sephora, that are using BHT in their products, and because they're only using small amounts, they can uh, get the, the Clean It Sephora designation. Credo doesn't allow any BHT, and so when uh, Bobby Brown created this line, she didn't put any BHT in it at all, or many other preservatives, but instead, some of these products have quite a bit of essential oils in them. And essential oils do serve as good preservatives, and I don't consider them to be toxic per se, but they can be annoying for some people's skin. And I think that for my skin, and I have, I have very, very sensitive skin, probably more so than 99% of the people out there, uh, for my skin, uh, essential oils in general tend to be very mildly uh, irritating, and uh, rose geranium oil, which is used in a few of uh, the 
the Jones Road uh, signature products, uh, that tends to be quite annoying for my face. So I, unfortunately, even though I really, really like some many of the products and from Jones Road and have used them very frequently, uh, a couple of the really uh, major products that they're known for, ones that I haven't used all that much because they do irritate my skin. So this is, uh, there's no line that really uh, can uh, do everything right for everyone just because it's so difficult to create a product that's not going to be going bad. So uh, in this case, I think that she's made some very good choices and that for most people, these, these products are going to work really well. Uh, it's just that for me, some of the products are not uh, ones that I really can use every day if I want to uh, maintain uh, skin that's not irritated. So the aesthetic for Jones Road seems to be to just really have fun with the makeup. So for instance, last year she did a campaign where she would pick out uh, just four different products and then show how great people could look uh, just putting those products on and only spending four minutes on their makeup. So I thought that what I would do for this video is to try to do that several different times uh, using different products for each little uh, piece of video so that you could just see um, that it, it's really easy to put these products on. It doesn't take a lot of effort. It doesn't take a lot of time. And I do think that they I can look much better uh, in the, just a couple of minutes uh, putting on makeup. So that's what I did for the beginning part of this video. And that's what I'll be doing uh, for the rest of it as well. So I thought that we would start out by doing a look with some products that I use on a regular basis and feel uh, unreservedly good about. So first I will start out by talking about these face pencils. And there are 25 different shades. And I have uh, four shades here. Three of the ones that I have here are supposed to be designed as concealers. And then the other one, which is number six, is a color corrector that's more on the darker peachy side that's designed to help to correct dark circles under the eyes. So I will swatch all of these on my face and we can think about which ones might be the best color for me. So this is four and this is supposed to be a light uh, yellow. And then we have uh, number nine, which is a dark yellow. And we have number eight, which is supposed to be more of a peachy color. And this is supposed to be for a light medium. Uh, and then there's another shade here, which is six, and I'm gonna to have to sharpen that one a little bit. And this one is designed as a color corrector, so it's peachy. And I only need to sharpen these just a little tiny bit. Uh, they don't need to actually be a point. So let's do that first. So I just uh, put a little bit of this under my eyes where the dark circles are. Uh, because the dark circles are more like a blue color and blue is the opposite on the color wheel to an orange or a peachy color. So if I put this on, then I don't need to use quite as much concealer and it will cancel it out. So then I will use, um, maybe around this area, I'll use a little bit of this darker color to just kind of uh, blend it in with the rest of my face. And then around my nose, I'll use this light color. So in terms of concealing, sometimes I will use other kinds of uh, products from other companies that, that act pretty similarly to this one. But in terms of color correcting, I've really not found any other color correcting products that I think work nearly as well as this one. Uh, so this one is much more clean and much more effective than most of the other products that I've used. So let's just blend this in a little bit. So I use that color corrector almost every day. And then I alternate in terms of the other products. Now the good thing about these pencils is that they use kind of a clear base. So therefore they don't look chalky and they really uh, disappear into the skin very easily, even if I just use my fingers. Now usually you can see I have 
very little eyebrows. I've never actually plucked my eyebrows, but somehow they're they're quite sparse. They were always pretty thin, but now they've gotten lighter in color and they're also uh, quite on the sparse side. So I need to use some kind of an eyebrow product all the time. And usually if I uh, am using any other product, I need to use both an eyebrow gel in order to uh, darken my existing uh, eyebrows and then also a pencil to fill in because there really aren't that many eyebrow hairs there. Uh, so that takes quite a bit of time and also eyebrow gels are quite expensive. These uh, Jones Road pencils though, these are um, really a, a breakthrough in terms of not needing any of that. So they're, they're uh, just sharpenable pencils and they have little fibers in the pencils. And so uh, I don't really need to do anything except just brush these on and it actually creates a look that I feel is just as natural or almost as natural as going through all that work with the eyebrow gels and uh, the pencils and doing it separately. And I've never encountered any other pencil that's been like this. And now these come in uh, several different shades. Uh, the one that I just put on is Ash Blonde, I guess it is. So this is a little bit of a, a more neutral blonde color, so it's supposed to uh, be good particularly for people that have some gray in their hair. Uh, there's also a blonde color, which I have used also, uh, that is a little bit more reddish. The other thing that I do every day is to put something on above my eyes as like an eyebrow eyelid primer uh, because what I feel like is that that area is on the light side and that uh, because it's light and because my eyes are becoming hooded it kind of protrudes a little bit and so it kind of overwhelms my eyes and also the skin above my eyes is not uh, as smooth as it once was so I feel like if I put on just a little bit of a tinted product above my eyes then it looks better so unfortunately Jones Road doesn't make anything like that. And what I have found that's worked best for me is it just a, a concealer that as long as it's not irritating. And so I'm using that on this. And then I will just, this is a, a brush from Jones Road. This is called the Details Brush. So I'll just smooth this on my eyes like this to give it a base so that when I put on uh, the eyeshadow, it goes on more nicely and I can just do a one and done eyeshadow look. Now I did a whole video uh, just last week that was focused mostly on this bronzer uh, and comparing it to other bronzers that were in my collection. So uh, you can take a look at that video, but this is in the color light tan and I think it's a good shade for me, but it has kind of a reddish color to it. So it's like a Georgia clay color. So I am only using this product on my cheekbones uh, and maybe a little bit on my nose. So the way that I would kind of a more neutral blush. Uh, now I don't know if any of the other colors in the line would work better for me as in terms of being able to use it more on a dispersed way on my face. Uh, but I think that this is, if I don't use too much of this product and then I blend it in a little bit, I think it's, it's a nice product for giving me just a little bit of a um, slightly bronzed look to my face. But I don't want to use too much of it, then you start to look like I have a real sunburn. And I probably put too much of this on already, but I'll just kind of blend it in with my fingers as well as this. This is the uh, Everything Brush from Jones Road, and I really like this brush a lot. It's more like a buffing brush. So if I put on foundation or if I put on um, some kind of a cheek product and it seems like it's on there too heavy, then I can just kind of brush it in with this blush and I also brush and I kind of brush it in with my fingers as well. So this one is the shade uh, Rosy Brown, so it gives just a little bit more of a pop of sort of a reddish color. So I'll put just a little bit of this on my cheeks. And then that is a little too reddish also, but um, the good thing about these products is that they're very forgiving. So if you make a mistake, you can just kind of blend it in and it, it is quite on the forgiving side. And then let's put on a little bit of eyeshadow. 
So I will try uh, just applying a little tiny bit of this first. So this is kind of a brown color, but it's a bit of a shimmer. And I really like these eyeshadows, uh, particularly the shimmer shades. I think that they're very nice one and done shades. I've, I've been purchasing a lot of talc free eyeshadows and trying different ones. And I think that these are about as good as any others that I have tried so far. They go on really easily. They last pretty long. Uh, and I think they're really pretty colors. Now the matte, the matte shades uh, are they seem considerably uh, more highly pigmented, so I have to be really careful to work with those. But these shimmer ones, I think they're really quite nice. And then I will just kind of blend them out so that there's, uh, so they're not too dark. They're a little more dispersed. And that's probably a little too much eyeshadow, so. Just kind of blend that in a little bit more with my fingers. Uh, you know, I think that most of these products are really designed to be used for the but with the fingers. So if you're a professional makeup artist, then you're not supposed to be putting on makeup with your fingers, I think. But otherwise, uh, Bobbi Brown seems to like to put on makeup with fingers in general. And so I, I kind of like that. I think it's uh, much more pliable and forgiving than a lot of lines are. So of these lipsticks that she sells, this is the lightest and most neutral shade that, that they offer. And it's still pretty bright. So of the products that I've talked about so far, I feel like all of them are uh, ones that I really feel good about. So they don't have any ingredients in them that I find to be really problematic, and they also don't have any essential oils in them. So I think that most people that try them should be able to tolerate them. I also think that they perform really well compared to other products in their categories, and that they are things that I, if I had to use them uh, all the time from now on and uh, not use any other products uh, that they're competing against, I would feel perfectly fine about all of those. Okay, I went and took all the makeup off, and I so I will start over again. And what I need to do if I'm going to uh, put more of those face pencils on is to make sure that my face is uh, well moisturized. Those, those face pencils tend to be a little bit on the dry side uh, compared to other kinds of concealer sticks I have used. So it's definitely especially important for me to make sure I put some... Uh, cream on my face before I use those. So this is the Jones Road Eye Cream. And this is just a basic, uh, little non-irritating eye cream. It doesn't have anything like caffeine in it. It doesn't have anything like bakuchiol in it, but it's also not real expensive. And you only need a little tiny bit. And I do think it works really well as a day eye cream. So it's not real greasy, it absorbs really well. This is the uh, Light Moisture Cream. And this is just a day cream. It's either designed as a uh, cream for uh, oilier skin or as a light cream to put on under makeup uh, for people with drier skin like I have. It has a lot of niacinamide in it, so it's supposed to be good for texture issues and pore issues. It does have some uh, citrus derivatives and citrus oils in it. So I am not feeling like it's ideal for my uh, really sensitive skin. Uh, I don't know if I would purchase it again, but I've used up most of the jar, and I think it's worked pretty well on my skin. Bobbi Brown really likes black eyelashes and uh, thicker eyelashes. So even though she really is striving for a fairly natural makeup look in general, she says that uh, she thinks black eyelashes for, are important and appropriate for everyone. One of her goals when she established Jones Road is to come up with a high-performing uh, mascara that would not have carbon black in it or any other really problematic ingredients in it and that would not cause a big mess or flake or smudge, which most of the uh, more natural mascaras uh, did at the time when she was creating this product. And it only comes in black and it comes in this great big tube. 
with a great big curved applicator. I did use this maybe a dozen or so times. I thought it performed really well in terms of not creating a mess, in terms of creating a, a black eye, sh eye um, lash look uh, without needing me to use a spoolie to separate my lashes a whole lot. I was just listening to another person uh, named Tati, who has a really big makeup channel, uh, who said that she also found the Jones Road product to be irritating to her eyes. So if you have very, very sensitive eyes like I do, then you might uh, want to be a little bit hesitant about this. Over the past two years since this has come out, I think that there have been a number of additional mascaras that I think perform really well and that haven't irritated my eyes at all. So I've been leaning more towards those and I haven't purchased a new mascara from Jones Road. I wouldn't be totally unwilling to use it again, but I don't think it's the ideal one for me. But if you're looking for a high performance mascara that's going to do a good job, uh, then this could be something to consider. And a lot of people really, really like it, especially people that are, that are big mascara fans. So what I did, because I don't have a new mascara and this one is almost two years old, I put on another mascara that's uh, kind of darker because I want to do a look that's supposed to have mascara in it. So what you're supposed to do for the cool girl look is to first start out with uh, uh, prep your skin so it looks kind of matte looking and then you're supposed to put on a black mascara and then you're supposed to put on kind of a shimmery type of a eyeshadow that uh, looks more, kind of like ice. So what I have here is the uh, Just a Sec eyeshadow in the shade Linen. So the idea, I think, is that it's supposed to look a little bit like there's like snow. And then put a little bit on my cheeks, blend this in, and I'm using it kind of generously because the idea is that it's supposed to be frosty looking and it's okay if you kind of go overboard. A little bit like this and then I have this powder blush and this is the shade P.O.P. which is pop of pink so this is a little bit more pink than blush that I usually use but sometimes I put a little bit on my on my uh, cheeks like the apples of my cheeks but in this case I'm going to put a quite a bit more of it on my cheeks and then also put a little bit on my nose so it looks like I'm have been out in the cold. And then this is the uh, lip gloss. So this is the shade Pink Gold. So I'll put a little bit of this on my lips just to give it a little bit of a, a shininess and then I'll talk about these lip glosses. I think the colors are really pretty. So I think that uh, if you look at this color, I think it's very nice. Um, now this has not only peppermint oil in it, it also has menthol and it also has Gliss natural flavor. And there was one person uh, who was interested in ingredients who said that she tried really hard to get the information from uh, the Jones Road Company about uh, what natural flavor meant and that they finally told her that it was just peppermint. There are some days that I feel like this is a really nice flavor and I don't mind it. There's other days that I feel like the flavor is uh, has something a little bit weird underneath the peppermint. Uh, but in any case, I feel like this would work better if it had an applicator to it. And I feel like it would uh, uh, work better if it was just a little bit thicker, uh, but that the colors are really pretty. Supposedly, the most popular version of this is the clear one, and I could see that because the clear one, you wouldn't, it wouldn't matter if you uh, didn't have an applicator, you could just use it with the regular, uh, just squeeze a little bit on your lips and then rub them together and that wouldn't have to worry about the product getting all over the place. So I, uh, if you like a clear lip gloss, this could be one to consider. So I thought what I would do next is to take a couple products that are a little bit more difficult and to create a really fast look with those. So what I have here, first of all, is one of the lip tint colors, and this is in the shade Black Cherry. And when I purchased it, I kind of thought that maybe it was going to be uh, a much more sheer product than it actually turned out to be. All of these products in this lip tip 
lip tint line. They all tend to be uh, quite uh, dark or bright colors and they're, they're pretty opaque in terms of the amount of pigment. So it may be that maybe they're for a uh, darker skin or maybe they're uh, thinking that the lip and cheek sticks uh, are already serving the function of providing a light pigment option. And I do think the lip and cheek sticks are really excellent products and much better than any other lip and cheek product in terms of uh, working well on my lips than any other product that I've found. But still, uh, a little lipstick like this is also a good thing. So what I'm going to do here first is to put on just a little bit of lip balm. This lip balm is from Jones Road. Uh, it's pretty pricey. I think it's kind of overly pricey. Uh, it does have a nice flavor of lavender and uh, spearmint and orange, and it um, it, it works fine. Uh, I don't really like the fact that it has phenoxyethanol in it. I would prefer that not be in lip products, but in general, I'm, I'm going to continue to use this, but I kind of doubt that I'm going to buy it again. And so what I will do with this black cherry is I will just dot a tiny little bit of it onto my lips and then I'll smear it together with my uh, finger to try to uh, shear it out a little bit. So it definitely works a lot better if I already have a uh, lip balm on already. And then I'll put a little bit on uh, as a blush. So I think if this were like going to be like a little fall look, I think it could be kind of cute. Uh, but you definitely, if you have light skin like mine, you definitely have to be uh, very judicious about the amount that you use of this product because it is very highly pigmented. And I'm really hoping that they will come out with some more neutral or brown colors uh, soon uh, or, or pink. Or it's just anything like, because I really do like this lipstick formula and I would like to be able to buy more colors in it. And then what I'm going to do is to put on some of this eye pencil. And a good performing eye pencil for me means that it goes on smoothly. It uh, smudges right away if I want it to. And then uh, once uh, a few minutes have passed, it stops smudging so that it lasts for the rest of the day. And I think that this eyebrow eyeliner pencil does do all of those uh, kind of with flying colors. So I do like it for those reasons. I'm just trying to put a little tiny bit right near my lashes so that I'm using this instead of mascara, basically. And then I have this little eyeliner brush, so I will use this to smudge it a little bit. And this is a nice little brush from Jones Road also. In terms of it irritating my eyes, it does irritate my eyes a little tiny bit. And I think that the reason for this is because it includes uh, cottonseed oil as one of the ingredients. Now, cottonseed oil is unfortunately a product that is all very highly contaminated with pesticides, especially glyphosate or Roundup across the board. And I have never seen organic cottonseed oil in a makeup product, unfortunately. And so uh, the, the idea that this product would be serving as an irritant to the eyes or maybe uh, altering the microbiome and making the eyes more likely to have problems because of that, I think that that's very plausible. Most of the eye sh uh, pencils that I have seen that use cottonseed oil, they use them as the first or second ingredient, and I have not been able to use any of those at all, even though most of them are rated as clean at Sephora or Credo uh, approved. But in this case, the, it's only the sixth ingredient, I think, and I can kind of tolerate this eye pencil, but I have found some others that I like better and that don't irritate my eyes at all, so I probably will be just using those. But uh, other than that, I think it's a very nice pencil. So this is just a, a quick kind of going out in the fall, going to work type of a look for me anyway. This is a, one of Jones Road's more controversial products, and this is called What the Foundation. So uh, the idea of this is that it's a very uh, emollient type of a foundation. It comes in uh, this container, which is just a jar. So I think that if I put this foundation on, and you can see what you think, I think I look considerably younger. 
Uh, the problem with this is that uh, in terms of the formula, although it does have that uh, real benefit in terms of my looking more youthful, it also has a, a number of drawbacks. So it's a basically a mixture of water with a lot of oil in it and a few other ingredients. So it tends to be, uh, it separates in the jar. So you can see it's a little bit separated in this jar. It also tends to, if the weather is more than about 70 or 75 degrees outside, it will almost like melt off, mix with my sweat on my face and then just sort of totally melt off. So I really don't use this unless uh, the weather is about 65 degrees or cooler. And it, it also has a, a tendency to feel sticky, especially if you put too much of it on. So you have to be really careful not to put too much of it on. Uh, otherwise, it uh, people complain that their hair can get stuck to their foundation and that they're really annoyed about that. It also has quite a lot of essential oil in it. In particular, it has rose geranium oil in it. And I have a real allergy to rose geranium oil, so if I put this directly on my skin, then it definitely will start to itch. What I have found is that if I put on a layer of primer under this foundation, that it does work really well for me and that that will apparently protects my skin from the essential oils that are problematic in it. It also has uh, ginger root oil in it. So between those two things, uh, it has quite a strong smell. So even if you're not allergic to those essential oils, it definitely has a strong herbal type of smell that some people really like and other people don't like that much. Um, if your skin is not really dry, then this may not be appropriate for you or you may not be able to use very much of it. Even if your skin is dry, you may not want to use very much preparation product under it. So I, if I'm going to use this, then I typically will just put on a product that has hydrators in it. So like squalane or sodium hyaluronate, uh, but not extra oil because this has so much oil in it that it really doesn't need any more. So there's a number of drawbacks of this foundation, which is why so many people have criticized it. But a friend of mine told me that she was uh, taking about half of this product and half of her expensive French silicone foundation and mixing that, and that that was performing really well for her. So since then, I've been taking some of the silicone foundations that I have and mixing them with this. And I do think that that uh, creates sort of a nice balance in the middle between uh, this product making the skin look really nice, uh, but the other products uh, having a little bit uh, more of a performance. So I'm going to first put primer down, and then I'm going to put, I think, this Jones Road by itself on half of my face, and on the other half I will mix it with a silicone foundation, and you can see what you think. Now, another thing that people object to about this product is that it comes in this big jar, and so they feel like putting their fingers in it is not necessarily that hygienic. Uh, Jones Road does sell this tiny little spatula, and I think that this is a nice product in general, and that if you're going to be using cream products out of a jar, this is a nice hygienic way to use it. So I do use that. So let's take a, a little bit of this product, and I will uh, just group. And you just take a teeny tiny bit of it. You really don't want to use too much of it. So you can see it's more like a, a silicone formula now in terms of how it looks. Because the, the silicone stuff made it all kind of stick together more. Okay, so this is one of those foundations that really looks better maybe an hour or two after you put it on. And I think that that's one uh, re very good use of this everything brush. And probably the main reason that they uh, invented it is to just kind of buff this foundation into the skin. And see now if I, if I rub it a little bit, it's not nearly as sticky. So if you're still a little unhappy with how sticky it is, then you could just use a little bit of powder just to kind of put a topping on it. And I think it still gives a lot of that plumped up look to the skin, even though it's not, even though when you put the powder on it, that it's not uh, quite as dewy looking. 
See, at this point, it's not sticky at all. And so, therefore, I could put some other stuff on top of it. Now, this is the Shimmer Face Gel. And I happen to have this in the color Cool Rose, which is probably a little bit too pink for me. But if we're going to go for a Valentine's Day look, then that might make sense. I've had this for uh, something like a year. And it still smells fine to me because it has a lot of citrus oils and citrus derivatives in it. So it's, it's holding up pretty well, especially considering how much sunflower seed oil it has in it. But I think that, you know, if it's... So Valentine's Day look, we could be a little bit more generous. I mean, you don't want to go too overboard, but this is not the most shimmery oil there is out here. You could also mix this oil with the Wet the Foundation. This is the shade Rosy, and it is uh, not uh, very shimmery at all. This is more of a matte, but it's bright, so it's not something that I use real often. But let's use a little bit of that on my lips maybe even a little bit on my cheeks because it's more bright and more Valentine's Day-like. And because it has this, this peppermint to it, it might mix, makes your lips look pink and red, but also could be kissable without, without a lot of it coming off and uh, without it being unappealing. And if I were actually going to wear this out, I probably would put a little bit of red lip pencil on and then put the gloss on top of it. I think that would be a pretty look. Over the Christmas holidays, Jones Road sold this little eyeshadow palette. Uh, and this is has four different colors of shadows in it. And it has a cream, a brown, a dark gray, and then uh, this shade that's called So Pretty, which is more like a shimmery topper. So this is not uh, in stock anymore, but I think it's a really nice palette. I actually bought an extra one that I will be giving away uh, in one of my, uh, as a choice in one of my upcoming uh, sweepstakes. So if you're interested in that, then you can be automatically entered by signing up for the mailing list on my website, which is www.lidandclean.info. For me, I'm not sure this is exactly the, the perfect palette, I think that uh, the, the brown one is quite dark and the gray one is kind of on the neutral side. I don't know that I do all that well with grays that much. I, I do think that this so pretty uh, topper is very pretty, but it's, it's on the silver side. And again, I, I think I do better with warm shades. I think it would be really nice if Jones Road comes out with some more of these palettes, though. I think this is a terrific idea. I think I'll just put the, the dark brown on one side, and then I will put the, the gray dark gray on the other side, and we can see which one we like better. But first, I will put some of this uh, cream color shadow down just as kind of a base for my overall uh, eyelid area. And let's put the gray on this side and I'll try to do it very, very gently because these, especially the, um, the matte shadows, they're very, very highly pigmented. And so if I am not really, really gentle with it, then they uh, tend to look really dark really fast. And then this one is the brown one. Now I think one thing that you might do with the brown one, or they also sell a, a black one, uh, is to use it as an eyeliner, but I've never uh, been really good at using powder shadows as an eyeliner, so I am not going to do that today, but that would be another thing you could do with that dark brown. So now I'm just kind of blending it in. And I don't think that gray looks bad on my eyes as long as I use it in a very light way. And this is the brown one. And then I will put just a little bit of that topper over the eyeshadow to start. And 
And this is actually a very pretty color, I think. And so maybe I'll put a little bit on this side also. So I think if I had a more cool complexion, that this would be really stunning. Uh, if you had, uh, especially if you had blue eyes or gray eyes, gray eyes maybe especially, I think that that could be really pretty. But even on me, I think it's quite pretty. This, today I will put on the um, blonde eyeshadow, eye, eyebrow pencil. Uh, so this is a little bit re more reddish, but let's just see um, if we like it. So I put the blonde pencil on this eyebrow, and on this one, I will put the ash blonde. So I, I think there is a significant difference in that color. So next, let's play a little bit with the Miracle Balm. Now, the Miracle Balm uh, primarily is sold in these very large containers. So they're, apparently, they're expecting you to use quite a lot of it. Uh, but I do have four of these little containers that I got uh, along with uh, sets of, of Jones Road products. So uh, these are four of the original shades. So I have... Uh, Magic Hour, which is kind of a sparkly, uh, slightly uh, cool shade. And this one is Tawny, which is a more red shade. And I have this one, which is Dusty Rose, which is kind of a pink shade with a little bit of sparkle. And then this one, which is a bronze shade that's kind of on the gold side. Uh, so I'll swatch them up here and then kind of blend them in. So this is the Dusty Rose one. And this one is the bronze one. So the Dusty Rose one is more like a little bit of a blush. So just a very, very light blush. And the bronze one is a little bit, uh, gives you a little bit of a tan. And what uh, Bobby Brown says is that if you uh, use the, if, you, if your skin is on the reddish side, that, uh, more red than you would like, then if you use the bronze color, then it can cut the redness in your face. Now the tawny one uh, is actually a pretty bright uh, color uh, to actually add redness to your face. And then the last one, uh, which is Magic Hour, is more like a pure highlighter. And the good thing about these products is that they're very sheer so even though I put different colors on both sides of my face, I don't think it really matters that much because the color is so sheer that it's really just giving you a hydration and a little bit of color. Now, since, since the introduction, Jones Road has introduced a couple of new shades of Miracle Balm. Uh, one of these is a bright pink, uh, which I think is called Flush. And then the new one that they just came out a couple days ago is a color that's called, I think, Miami Beach, which is kind of a, a dark, um, more like an apricot, like a bright apricot type color. And I think that those are both very pretty. So if you're looking for something that has more color to it, that will add, uh, be more like a blush as well as adding a uh, hydrating type of a um highlight to your face, then those two could be particularly good for you. So I think that this is really pretty and I like it a lot. Unfortunately, even when I put the primer down, I feel like this kind of seeps through the primer and my face starts to itch pretty quickly. So unfortunately, this is, even though I can't really find another product on the market that's anything like this and uh, that I really do like the way it looks on me and the way that it feels on me, uh, it's just because of that rose geranium oil, it's just not the right product for me. We'll try the dusty rose one and I'll just uh, try to build it up a little bit more and see if we can get more of a, a pink type of a look from it. And 
And then if you don't get enough blush from this, then you can use the uh, cheek, uh, the uh, lip and cheek sticks to um, make it a little darker. So I think that that really does make a nice significant difference in how pretty I look. I think it just looks like I'm a little bit refreshed and a little bit healthier looking. And then, yeah, I like these lip and cheek sticks so much just as a, as a, on my lips that I'll put a little bit of that on now. And this is the rosy brown shade. And I think that for the amount of work that it would take for you to get out of bed and just put on a little bit of this Miracle Balm, uh, and then maybe use the Faith Pencils if you need it, and if you need to do something on your eyebrows, to throw that on. Uh, this can be a really fast look, and I do think that people look a lot better. So I think that, you know, there's a lot of um, hype around this product, and I actually think that there's a, a considerable reason for the hype and that I do really like it. Let's see if we can make it a little bit darker with this tawny version without it looking, uh, going too much. So if you really want to have a little bit more of a sunburned, type of a look and that's really easy to add as well some people even put this on their eyes so that I think definitely gives much more of a, a healthy type look to it uh, a little bit sun swept but not too much and certainly not too exaggerated and I, I like it a lot. I would, if I could use these products without them annoying my face, I think I very well might use them every day because I do think they're really, really pretty. Okay, so I went and took off all my makeup again. And the product that I have been using today to take off my makeup is this Jones Road, uh, the cleansing stick. So it, it actually comes in a stick form and you can twist it up. And all that I do with this is to just uh, put a little bit of this gel on my face and then to wet my hands and to uh, make it into a, a more of a liquid and then I wash it off with a washcloth. And I was a little bit afraid of this product because it does have some citrus type scent in it, but I really like it. I think it's been very gentle on my skin. I don't know if I would wear it every, use it every day at home, but I think that if I were traveling either on an airplane where there was restrictions in terms of how many liquid products I could have, or if I were uh, traveling in my car or an RV, I think that this would be a, a really nice product and that uh, it would be a, uh, much more convenient to have to not worry about any kind of liquids in my uh, travel bags. So uh, the last eyeshadow shade that I have is uh, in the shade Copper, and it looks like this, and I think this is a really pretty shade. So clearly, she is, Bobby Brown is only uh, encouraging people to do more, sort of like one and done shades. That's what she shows on her website. And uh, with uh, almost, with that one exception, she hasn't done any palettes. Uh, and in terms of uh, the shimmer shades, I think that they work particularly well as one and done shades. So I would be interested in getting some more of these. Um, I think that's very pretty, especially for a a summertime look. I have this pencil and this is a shade called Ivy and it's supposed to be a shimmery type green and it's a little odd because there's no eyeshadows that they're selling that are green uh, but so I'm gonna just try to put on uh, the eye pencil along with this copper shade and we'll see how it looks. And they have a few other interesting colors of eyeliner as well. And I have this little brush which is a eyeliner brush, so I'm going to use that to smudge it, or you could use your fingers. And I think that that's, that's kind of nice with the copper. So this is the shade Chocolate Mocha, and when I first saw this on the website, I assumed that this was really just designed for women with very dark skin. But then last winter, Bobbi Brown was shown demonstrating it on herself and showing how she could use the product 
to um, give herself a little bit of a bronzy look in the winter. And so I tried it and I think that it's a really nice terracotta and not nearly as dark as I thought it was going to be. And so I've gotten a lot of use out of this so far. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on. And then you can put just a little bit of it on your cheeks. So I think that's a really pretty color on me anyway. And then I'll also try a little bit of this Magic Hour just to see what it looks like with this. So this is a sh kind of a shimmery, cool color. It's just too bad that they don't have the little ones available all the time. Bobby Brown says that it would cost uh, a pretty much the same amount to make the small ones as it does to make the large ones. So she just sells them in the larger sizes. But I think there's still some merit to having these small sizes because they are uh, good for travel purposes as well as trial. So I think that that does look a little bit on the overly silvery, shimmery side. Uh, but I think it's very pretty nonetheless. Uh, I have one more lip and cheek uh, color to show, but I think that what I will do first is to talk a little bit about the rest of the skincare items. All of these products are pretty moderately priced as good skincare goes, and I think that considering the price, I think that the quality is pretty good. The, the ingredients are not as fancy as in many products, uh, but they certainly have done a pretty good job uh, for me, particularly with my very dry skin. So one of the products that I've gotten quite a lot of use out of is this Miracle Cream. So this is a, a cream that I use primarily in the, during the winter months. But in terms of a cream that's very moisturizing and that I can put on at night, it hasn't irritated my skin at all. It does have a little bit of citrus in it. Uh, it's lasted very well. I, I had this since last year. And it smells fine. It hasn't gone rancid on me. So uh, another product that she sells, which is called the Oil Stick. And again, this is a, a travel product. So it's like a gel. And I think that a lot of the oils that are in here are more on the synthetic side. So they seem to me to be very uh, thin and absorb into the skin very easily. Uh, I um, I think it has too many citrus things in it for me. So I haven't really gotten that much use out of this product, but I think that if you if your skin does really well with essential oils, then for travel purposes, especially either during the day or if you're on a trip, I think that this could be a really good product. And I think that of their skincare products, this is probably the most popular one and it's the one that I've used the most. This is called Hippie Stick and it is a variety of oils, um, mostly sunflower seed oil and coconut oil with some wax and some other high quality oils. And this has quite a lot of uh, scent, which is that lavender orange oil spearmint scent. And I think that that smells delicious. Uh, usually I'm not that crazy about essential oils, but I wouldn't put this on my face. But I have used it quite a lot as a hand cream and sometimes as a cream on other parts of my body. And I think it's it has a very nice texture to it. Uh, again, I've had this ever since last year. I've used up most of the container and it hasn't gone rancid at all despite the fact that it has all that sunflower seed oil in it. And uh, it's something to put on my hands at night. I think that this has been a, a nice helpful product. And then the last product that I have here is a hair balm. If you have a lot of flyaways and you don't want to wash your hair too much or put a lot of products on it that you can just use a very small amount of this to kind of calm it down and uh, keep it from keep your dry hair from being too um, too much flyaway. I did ask the people from Jones Road uh, whether or not it was uh, had any synthetic fragrance in it, and they replied that it was all natural fragrance. But it is a fairly strong scent. One more product that I want to talk about uh, is this, which is called Sparkle Wash. So it's kind of on the sparkly cool side. And unfortunately for me, uh, this product uh, has irritated my eyes a little bit when I've used it. And I've tried it several times and it always does irritate my eyes. Uh, it has alcohol as the second ingredient and then more alcohol further down on the ingredient list. It has some other things in it that I think are questionable. And I think that that doesn't necessarily mean that other people shouldn't use it because again, as I've said before, I have super, super sensitive eyes. I think that of all the products that, that are sold by Jones Road, this is the one that I think is most likely to be irritating to people. And then I have one more color of lip and cheek 
left. And this is called Bright Coral. So let's put some of that on my lips. It coordinates pretty well with, with the chocolate mocha one. And I'll put on a little bit of the uh, Miracle Balm in the shade um, Bronze. So I think that the bronze one may be a little more difficult to wear unless you're trying to counter red. But I still think that all of these Miracle Balms, they're so easy going that it's kind of hard to mess up. So while you may like some shades better than others, I think they're all really pretty. So let's do a quick rundown of all of the products and what I think of them. So the, the products that I think are really home runs that I would really miss if they were no longer on the market anymore. First of all, these eyebrow pencils, there's really nothing else like this out there. And they've made a big difference in terms of how uh, quickly and also inexpensively I can uh, create a plausible look. Uh, with my own uh, really problematic eyebrows. And I think that especially for people that don't have any eyebrows at all, such as from chemotherapy or just having lost them somewhere along the way, that this could probably be by far the best option that's out there for them. Uh, the other products that I think are terrific are these face pencils, especially for color correcting. I found almost nothing out there that else that I really like. And for a for concealing, I think that they're also very good. I really like the way they disappear so easily into the skin. Okay, in terms of products that I think are really standout products that I wish that I could use on a regular basis, but that unfortunately cannot because they contain rose geranium oil. Uh, one of these is the What the Foundation. Now, obviously, this is not a product that everyone is going to like, uh, but I think that for uh, especially women that are my age or older uh, and that want to have a sort of a more plumpness uh, look to their face, I think this is a really terrific product. Uh, the other products that I, I really like and would like to use on a regular basis are these Miracle Balms. So if uh, these are products that are not going to annoy you, and most people are not going to be annoyed by uh, rose geranium oil the way that I am, even if they have very sensitive skin, then I would uh, certainly recommend giving these a try. And for products that I think are really standouts in their categories, the first are these eyeshadows, and especially the shimmery eyeshadows. There's a one-and-done eyeshadow. I think that these are very high quality. They go on really well. They stay on really well. Um, and I think the colors are really gorgeous, so I'd like to have a few more of those. Uh, I also really like this new bronzer. Uh, they waited two years to bring out this one, but I think that it's been terrific for me, so I would... Uh, I'm interested in buying more shades of this as well. So far I only have this bright pink blush, which I just have been using uh, very sparingly, but I think that I would be interested in, and I don't usually use powder blush unless it's really uh, a standout product, but I'd be interested in trying another one of these. I think it's a, 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 the powder products that they're doing are really very nice. Uh, the other products that I really, really like are these lip and cheek sticks. So it would be nice if they came out with a few more colors of these. And I also like this Everything brush. All of the brushes that I have from Jones Road have been very well made, so I'd be interested in trying some more of these brushes. These little lipsticks, uh, I really like the formula a lot. I don't know if I want to buy any more unless they come out with more shades. So if they come out with shades that are more along the lines of the, the more mucky type shades that I really like personally, then I very well might buy more of them. But right now the colors are just so bright that I think that they're probably not that appropriate for me. I do like this hippie stick, so eventually when I use this up, I might buy another one. I do also like this Miracle Cream. I think it's a good value. Just a sec eyeshadow. I think these are pretty. I don't think that I have quite the right color for me yet. Uh, I think the topaz one or maybe the peach one might be better for me. So I might give it one more try uh, and buy one of these just to see if that works better and if I really fall in love with this. This uh, cleansing balm, I think for travel purposes, that I might get some good use out of that. I think this uh, eye uh, cream is a, a very nice light eye cream. I tend to spend a lot of money on eye creams uh, and uh, am hoping for... Uh, more performance type benefits from it in terms of working on wrinkles and also working on puffiness. 
but as a nice, light, and affordable eye cream. I think this is a very nice one. I would prefer that a, a day cream that I'm using didn't have any scent in it at all, but as scented creams go, I think this is a very nice one, and it works really well under makeup, and uh, I think that I will finish this jar off at any rate. In terms of lip glosses. I think that if you really like peppermint, that this would be a terrific product because they are very, very pepperminty. Uh, I think that I would prefer a, a lip gloss with an applicator and there are a few products out there that I like a lot better than this that are lip glosses. I'm not that crazy about this oil stick. I have so many different shimmery oil products and I don't feel like I've gotten all that much use from any of them. This one has an awfully lot of citrus type preservatives in it, but I think it's a, a prettier color than I realized before uh, today and so I'm going to try to get some more use out of it. And this hair balm, I think it's a, a little bit too fragranced for me, um, but I, I think that if the goal is to just uh, put something light on your hair that you just use a little tiny bit of it and it behaves a little bit better. I kind of like the way that I'm looking. Uh, the eye products and uh, that I wish that I could use but that really seem to be uh, too irritating to my eyes that, that makes me not probably think that I'm going to be buying any more of them are uh, the mascara and the sparkle wash and to some extent these eye pencils. And this is a fine lip balm, but it's just kind of on the expensive side. So I think that's it for today. And thank you very much for watching all the way to the end of the video. If again, if you're interested uh, in finding out more information about uh, Jones Road products or about other products uh, that might be appropriate for sensitive skin, mature skin, dry skin, uh, then please check out my website, which is www.livingclean.info. All right. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope that if you've enjoyed it that you will subscribe. And uh, Coco and I love you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>